Friends, 1,007 days of war between Russia and Ukraine and things are changing at a rapid pace, both militarily and politically. As far as Karso is concerned, however, no changes in Zaporizhia, Oriko sector. Russian army has advanced south of Malaya Tokmachka area towards Oriko and fight is on in eastern outskirts of Belgoroe. In Rimifka salient, Razdulnoe has fallen and fight is on on the western side of Velika Novosilka in Makarovka, River Nepal and Novodrovka area. Ukrainian channels as well as ISW in the report feel that as far as Velika Novosilka is concerned is likely to fall soon and major Russian offensive will take place in Zaporizhia front. Kurakho Pokrova sector. Russian army is in city center of Kurakho and have captured this city almost 45%. In north of Kurakho, Russians have advanced southwest of Voznesenka. Ukrainians have started withdrawing from many key points. Berestiki too has fallen. Battle in Yalizavetivka and Elinka has come to an end. Last ditch battle by the Ukrainians in Romanovka did not work and is lost. Near Uspenivka, Russians have crossed Sukhi Yalia River and made a small bridgehead. They are likely to reach Uspanivka from Dalny site as well. Towards Selidovo Pokrovsk sector, Pustinka too has fallen and Russians have reached Zelati and Pushkino. From here, Pokrovsk is only 5 km if taken directly, otherwise through railway line, which is most likely the Russians will approach is 9 to 10 km. Toresk Russians made gains southwest of Toresk, Bakhmut Chasi were no information on any significant changes and similar is with Siversk Serebriansky forestry site. Russian army continues expanding its bridgehead recently created west of Oskol river in Indivorochina sector capturing Novom Linskoy area. From here Kupiansk will be approximately 17 km. In Swatovo direction, on the eastern bank of Oskil River, Russian's offensive operation continuing in Kalsinikivka and Zagri Zuo area. From Stilmakhivka direction, they have advanced towards west, that is Lozovo, west of Artimivka and Rozivka, which is on the western bank of Zerbets River. North of Kharkov, no changes in Volchansk or in Liptsi direction. However, west of Liptsi, before Kursk Oblast, Russian army had entered Kozacha Lopan and maintaining their position as a bridgehead, smaller one. Kursk, as per ISW, Russians made marginal gains in north of Sudza and Kurinivo districts. Heavy interdiction missions continue from both the sides, wherein Russians have increased number of drones almost 80 yesterday, while Ukrainians struck oil depot in Kaluga with UAV and shelled Kursk airfield with clustered munitions using long range missiles, probably attackums. Palestine, Lebanon, Israel. As far as Gaza Strip is concerned, IDF continuing targeting civilian buildings and other such locations both in North and South Gaza, also in Central Gaza. Hamas too has been attacking IDF soldiers and destroyed one of their tanks. In Lebanon, IDF continues shelling southern outskirts of 
Beirut and while on ground they are trying to advance in coastal zone in Al Bayada and in North Hitch sector towards Khiam center. Hezbollah too has been reciprocating as far as shelling is concerned deep inside Israel as well. There are talks that few of the European nation countries or NATO members like France and Germany may send their troops inside Ukraine. They are already working there undoubtedly but probably these contingents will fight on the front as well to contain Russian advance. As far as Russians reactions are concerned still it is half baked as they are accepting most of the red lines so far crossed by the western powers under the guidance of Pentagon. In Middle East Netanyahu has shown his first inclination towards peace with Hezbollah. Fight is on between rebels and the government troops in many parts of Africa even engulfing Burkina Faso, Sudan and Mali and I am definite that they are being aided by American and French imperialists. And that's the end for the day, friends. See you tomorrow. Thank you.